being called a house manager because I manage every single thing around this house. And don't get me wrong, I'm still a virgin, eh? In this huge mansion, I live and work next to one shaggy yet very cheeky watchman. You know the post has not yet paid me. He has also not paid me. But you should be very prayerful. Our boss says that the is the of the You know, working without salary is like nursing a baby and being pregnant at the same time. I am just bought. You know, I am a watchman, and my work is to look. So I am going to sit here. Your hopeless security card is not in the mood of celebrating Christmas. Come on. I did not know that security guards also experience menses. Why are you in such a bad mood? It is Christmas when I'm still living in the same cage. Last Christmas, the post was striving a pachero. This Christmas, he is striving a limousine. Last year, you two went to sitch, sitch. Yes. Just imagine. And you left me here, I think, cutting your massive property. I don't mind. I deserve love. I deserve happiness too. <laughs> you, you can also go with me to Christmas abroad or in abroad. I will appreciate. <laughs> I feel your emotions. Please contain your emotions. Uh, no, madam. I am never going to be an emotional container again. <laughs> the Bible clearly states that someone should follow their masters. 
Master Respect. I pledge my royalty and respect to you, but I am growing old. Seasons and years are passing by when I am just constant and the same, seated at the gates of the permanent secretary for women empowerment as a poor security guard. But see, that is your job to sit there, so be content with who you are. You are cursing me, madam. How can one be content be with being a, a poor security guard at the gates of a rich family? Nothing makes sense to me in this state of deep life and uncompassionate. Nothing makes sense to me when I am held at these gates. I just to smell of happiness, but never get taste of it. Pause. Madam, you are rich. You have been abundantly blessed by God. You are like a mango tree, producing, producing fresh sweet fruits all year round. But I wish you knew how painful it is to sit under a mango tree, but never get an opportunity to pluck and taste the sweetness of his fruits. I am your security guard, yes, but I want to join the happy world this Christmas. I want to jump in joy and sing the Christmas carols. There is Oh, there is Oh, Feris Navidad, Prospero, Ano y Felicita. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. But how can I be happy? Look, look at my wife from Ushako. Someone. Someone tell them that there is no joy to share. Nasiko, Nasiko, what have you come to do here? Boss, I need my salary now. Do you tell your wife that the situation here is worse than in up country. Wekesa, kandi unakubuka kwa ida nani tulichenga kwa nyumba yako chusi. Imeuziwa situ ni ni festa, ni festos, ata si elewi yoluka. Nesu. Sasa tumekua FAQ eteti, tumeamua kuja kuishi nawe. Nasi yoko huku ni Nairobi. I don't live in a house, I stay in a cage. In my current year, there is no Christmas day, my dear. All days are working days from January to December. Khand, does that look like my business? I have come for Christmas and for some more. To stay here with you. Boss, why are you quiet? Weke, sir. Khandi, ni elese ukweli. Am I married to the boss or to you? I am talking to you, so I need an answer. But, I have come for Christmas. But my job is married to the boss. And so? He is the custodian of my life. Well, I don't care. Why are you talking from outside? You come inside. Come in where? To the house. I am the custodian of whoever enters this compound. I am the man of my compound. Then pay me. I mean, the same way you are the man of your compound is the same way I am the man of my compound. Yeah. You are not more man than me. But Wekesa, mind your language. Respect, Wekesa. Respect. Respect. Respect, boss. Respect. Even in the most threatening circumstances, I swear to act brave and courageous in front of my wife. Yes. Wekesa, I remember you had asked uh, <laughs> for a bit of freedom, correct? Yeah, correct. <laughs> I have a suggestion. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you um, let your wife replace you as the watchman today? Yeah. Then you can go and idol at Uhuru Park or Jivanjika. What? Boss, are you a human being? I'm serious. Hey. <laughs> Darling, where is the driver? Uh, let me go call him. Hey, Peter. Peter, where are you? I am here, boss. Talk to the boss. And uh, uh, please, uh, wait outside the gates. Eh? And aren't you supposed to be taking breakfast? Nanjala. Or is the house made on strike? Nanjala, where are you? Come on, hurry up. Weke, sir. Hand to the end of Christmas. See, you had asked for a bit of freedom. Jivanchi Gardens, eh? <laughs> is breakfast ready? Yes, madam. Then hurry up and bring it and operate quickly. Stop walking around my house like a duck. Uh, Peter, 
fuel the Mercedes Benz. I want you to take me and my wife to the airport in the next 20 minutes, okay? You're, right you're, away. Boss. You're just leaving that way. <laughs> no, I'm just leaving this way. Nanjala, hurry up. Huh? You know, Karl Marx once said that <laughs> survival is for the fittest. That is, your hand only scratches as far as it reaches. And the Bible also clearly states that you shall reap what you shall sow. So this Christmas morning, my wife, a cheers. Uh, excuse me for a bit, huh? Ken. Excuse me, boss. Uh, the vehicle is ready. Uh, please, bring it around the gate. Wake yes, sir. Open the gates. I am not going to open that gate. Hey. What? Not until we settle scores in this compound. You know, I also have some control in this compound. The boss does not have a helicopter. He travels on road, so he must use my gate with my permission. Wekesa, open that gate. Open that gate before I embarrass you in front of your wife. I, my wife has seen me go through the walls. This one will be a decent embarrassment. <laughs> that he opens that gate. Wait, yes, sir. Why are you risking your job? I can't imagine such stupid sentiments dissipating from your mind. I am not an object of pity. I am simply discovering the meaning of Christmas and I will make sure that mission is accomplished before I open that gate. Nanchara, don't tell me you're not supporting that referendum. Of course I am supporting that referendum. But I'm here on quite a very different agenda. Uh-huh. I am officially launching Operation Okoa Karen. Operation Okoa Karen? Oh, you don't know her, just a minute. Operation Okoa Karen? Who is Karen? Efetuko. Mako. Mako, 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 mako. Nanchara. Nanchara. Here she is. She is Madame's firstborn daughter. But I have been nursing her in her room ever since she was a kid. 24-7. She is not supposed to step outside or be seen by anyone. Wait, 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 don't take her back. You mean also the rich have problems? The reason why she is kept in custody is my headache. I mean, yeah. she's still their daughter. It's the boss. The boss is really ashamed of her. But why? Look at her. She's very beautiful. Very eh? Beautiful, no. right? Boss, boss. Who can the boss do such a thing? Hey. You mean no. for those years he's been keeping? Hey. Yes. And you've uh -huh. never... Hey, boss. <laughs> Who brought her out of her room? Take her away from me. And I asked a question. Who brought her out of her room? Nanjala. Nanjala, is it you? What is wrong with you? Madam, I did not mean to. It was the devil that confused me. <laughs> Nanjala. Nanjala, it is not the devil. Everything that happens in darkness must be revealed in broad daylight. Indeed, this is Christmas Day. D darling, where did you get this confused house help from? I do not even understand. <laughs> but, boss, why put your own daughter in custody? Ken, <laughs> do not indulge into my, fi from my family affairs. You are just a jobless and wifeless driver. Mind your own business. But why call me jobless? See, I drive you around the world and that is job, my ah, job. Going to different places, meeting executive people, when your own child lives in darkness. Madam, she just wanted to see the sun and the outside environment, and I sympathized with her. Oh, so you did not think about sympathizing with your pathetic jock, you pregnant jock. A pregnant pregnant jock? jock? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I wish you knew what I'm carrying in my womb. I forgive you. You are just carrying a future housemaid. Hey, boss, why utter such painful words this Christmas morning? Shame on you. Get out of my compound. Stella, why did you do this to hey, me? Hey, moderation, please. 
Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day as a symbol of love. Haven't you read the book of John chapter 3 verse 16? Nonsense. You go and church your language in a better church. My husband, look, hold your loose tongue. I am going to loosen my arm. Hey, oh, come on. You couldn't even slap me. Are you a former ambassador who passed out? And I thought you were the permanent secretary in charge of women empowerment. I can't mind your own business. I, 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 I am a kikuyu. Everything is my business. I am revenging on her behalf. I mean, how, how could you slap a pregnant woman? I make her calm down. Calm that down. is unacceptable. I am destroying your face. Rich pockets, poor hair. You want a fight, eh? Yes, I want a fight. No, okay, sir. No, my husband, Stop please. Stop it. Hey, Candy, Candy, I'm going to kill you. Candy, I'm going to kill you. What is going on? What is going on here is that your husband just lost his Hey, madam. Everybody stop. Chaos. Madam, I did not bring out your child so that I can embarrass you like you claim. But today in the morning, your daughter wrote down three words. Are you mommy? God knows I wanted to lie. I really did. But I couldn't. So I decided to take her out of that room. I decided to take her out of that bondage of shame. Oh. Thank you very much for being a good Samaritan, Nanjala. Give me a minute. <laughs> now what is this? Was well, so my damn thing? Maybe he has gone for a present. <laughs> Maybe it is Christmas Day. Nisheta. Here are your belongings. I want you out of my house right now. No. <laughs> out. Madam, please. Hey, madam, you can't be serious. <laughs> Let me remind myself that this is Christmas Day and not Valentine's Day. Peter, you, you are a born again innocent keyboardist in charge. What happened to your keys? I don't know why the madam was judging this book by its cover. Oh my God, you think that Peter is my husband? <laughs> Peter is not my husband. I wish madam knew. I wish she knew that her husband is my husband. Hey, Hold on right there, Nanjala. So you want to tell me that you have been directing two movies in one shooting? Is this how you want to inflict pain to me? <laughs> you are not giving me what I wanted. And what I wanted is a boy child. The first time you conceived or gave birth was to that crippled amateur over there. You have me scarred over 10 times. And frankly, I am getting tired. You are the cause of all this drama on a beautiful Christmas morning. Seriously, morning. now? Isn't she a child that I gave birth to? <laughs> Some creatures deserve to be called human. That is not one of them. Hey, no, that is the spending God's work. Madam, boss, Tafatari, if and so she is crippled, she is beautiful, created in the same image of God. Which God? Our God is a creative God. He will never create such a disgrace in the name of a child to me. Didn't you make love together to get her? <laughs> Look at me in the eye and tell me that she's not your child. Just look at me in the eye and abuse my womb once more. I carried her for a whole nine months. I know I'm a jack of miscarriages, but at least I carried her for nine months. Is this why you broke my innocence? Did I force you to marry me? Hey, madam, come down. You claim that you love her. Hey, relax, madam, relax. Madam, Nina ever feel you on a field? Rakini, charipu, charipu kumesa, swaro that pain, madam. Yani swaro. And then, unesa familia u grip tight to that uh, candy, rope of hope. Inesa work. Dad, do I look ugly? Do I? Daddy, talk to 
me, do I look ugly? I am really sorry, Karen, I took you out of that room. But let me take you back into that dark room. Let me take you back into the night. The night is already on my face. It breaks my heart to learn that my black parents finished me. Even if I'm crippled, I'm a gift from God. I'm an angel. Yes, I cannot walk. But not all angels fly as well. I am sorry, Karen. That your story is too sudden to touch my heart. But it is too sorry to prevent my tears from trickling down me. Karen, don't. Don't. Even if you're ashamed of me, ashamed of going out with me, then allow me to hang around the watchman and Nanjala this Christmas. That will make me happy. Dad, Mom, I am closer to tears with each and every word I'm about to say. now you've just lost me. You're just like every other ordinary man that I know. Didn't you promise to be faithful? Just like every other man who can even step on the Bible and swear in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That they're going to be faithful. Tell me, what did you see in her? What did you see in a maid that I don't have better? Seriously. I'm talking to you. Answer us. Sources closer to the source claim that Nanchara does not return the door when taking a shower. What? Madam, at such extreme extents, the Bible recommends a divorce. You! Whether they call you Peter, Paul, or Barnabas, that does not stop me from beheading you. Let's talk! Answer us. Yes, answer. Tell us why. O okay. My wife, forgive me. I have sinned before you and before God. Only under one condition. <laughs> she has to leave this house. What? what? No, no, no. Please, don't leave. Uh -oh. So now you're defending your wife, right? <laughs> I wish you to a happy marriage and leave it. Madam! Until she leaves. Madam, I am so sorry. Really sorry. I know what, what I did wasn't intentional. But I promise you, I promise that if you don't leave, I will work wholeheartedly. I will work for you the entire of my life. Madam, we all love you. Please stay for us. Madam, can a word of forgiveness? You can also do the same. Please. Madam, please. Hand swallow your anchor and bright 
it is all over, madam. In, in fact, I am going to cancel our Christmas trip to Dubai. I have realized that Christmas is a family affair and we should spend it all together in love and joy. I have asked for forgiveness from God. I love you all and I love you, my wife. At, at that gate, I normally read the Bible. And Isaiah chapter 11 says, For out of the stump of David's family, a shoot will grow. Yes, a new branch bearing fruit from the old root. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance or hearsay. He will give justice to the poor and fair decisions to the exploited. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Praise God. Wow, that was lovely. Amen. Uh, that's a, a, a coming together of the choir, together with the doab and those actors. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Isn't it not wonderful? Yes. Isn't it not beautiful? Christmas is a moment for family. Amen. A moment to stretch, uh, uh, stretch yourself towards someone and, and just be there for them. Praise God. Mom, Dad, we love you. And thank you for the chance you've given us. Amen. Amen. We're going to do a song, and this song says, smile. Look at somebody and tell them, smile. smile. Look at your neighbor, tell them, you look so much better when you smile. Can you just smile? 
for me. For me. Come on, look at your neighbor, tell them, smile for me. Smile, smile for me. You look better. Can you just smile? Uh, for me. One more time, everybody in the, in the house, go. Smile, smile, smile for me. Uh, Can you just smile? One more time, one more time, one more time. Say it. Smile, smile for me. Uh. Can you just smile? Are you ready? Come on, everybody in the house. Let's go. 